Good morning. Good morning, my Periscope peeps. Welcome to Saturday. Hi, Dubs. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Yes, time to get the art vlog started. So I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. This is where you can find me basically everywhere. And today I am doing a periscope for our Saturday art vlog. Um, this is with our group LDCC, which is Little Deb's Creative Crew. All day. Here on Periscope, all you have to do is search LDCC or search um, Art Block, and you will have a whole day of lovely, great artists to watch. And here is our lineup today. We do have a little bit of break. Um, maybe somebody will pop in there or we'll get an update or something. But we are going to midnight tonight. Midnight! So you have all day, all these different people, different art, different styles. It's a great day. And if you like art, and you're interested in maybe being on the art blog, or getting to know us, um, being inspired, look up Little Dev's Creative Crew. We're all over social media. Our main group is on Facebook here. We'd love to have you join us and uh, be part of our crew. All right, let's get going. I'm going to work on this dog. Um, I think last week I was working on the eyes. I finished the face a little bit. It's kind of coming. He's coming along. It's, you know, looking like a dog. Um, so let's just zoom in and we'll sit here and hang out and chat and have a good little time. And if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, and then I'm going to work on the back ear first. And create some depth there. Anyway, so I hope this is just the start of a great Saturday for everybody. And so the question I always usually get is, what medium? This is digital art. I am using a program called Corel Painter, and it is the newest 2017 version. And I am doing um, digital oil paint. So the oil paints um, act pretty much like real oil paints do. They will blend into the paper. And the brush I'm using is called a wet blender brush. And so what this bl this brush does, I need to find where that mark is. But it's on the front here. What this brush does is, um, yes it is on that one. It blends automatically as I paint. It's just like taking paint and blending them together. This little pup that I'm working on right now is called an American Water Spaniel. And so I'm assuming, I don't like to assume too much, but I am assuming that they're um, probably like a, for hunting ducks and things like that. I'm just getting the edge of my ear here. I have some overspray I need to erase. Do, do, do. Okay, what's holding me up? With the body? No. Okay. 
Alright. So, the one thing about spaniels is they have this lovely curly, curly ears and hair, pretty much. of curling Alright, so this darkness under here is going to help bring this part of the face forward, which is why I'm making it darker than it actually is in my reference photo, which is something you just kind of learn to do as an artist. Um, you learn to create the illusion that needs to be seen. I'm putting in, I want some dark right by the edge here. All these ears. So with curly hair, um, you kind of have to work in sections to create the effect of curls. Can you see how I have some ends going one way, some ends going the other. It's more of a wave really, but... So these are the under colors, which are going to to dictate um, the shapes of these waves a little bit. Hello. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just developing these little curly curl ears. So this is sort of like a still under an underpainting of sorts. Um building up there's going to be lighter hair going on top of this which will show bring up a little more detail this is going to be the dark and the waves on this hair that's why i'm not worried about it looking like one piece of hair right now because we're going to build them up i'm worried more about 
getting a sense of it being wavy. Spaniels have the prettiest ears, so being that it's an identifying marker, I really kind of want to work on getting these little waves established a little bit. this a little bit. I want the individual hairs to pop out over here. So these are all these colors are going to start blending together. And start creating the hair effect. I 
think that's a big mistake a lot of people make um, when doing hair is hair is not one color and if you do it all in one color it's going to come off looking really flat because that's why people pay lots of money to go to colorists <laughs> you have to get the highlights and the different the different shades of color in there So it's going to be darker on this underside. So now I'm just picking little curls out. So as you choose to highlight and shadow, that's how you start turning the shape into a form. And so you see I'm adding a little bit of the color in here. Because just it's a, just because it's in the dark doesn't mean it's black.
Nobody's here. So you just keep developing the darks and lights into your curls. So you just keep building up. How are you today? Hello, Steve. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Thanks for joining me here on the Art Block today. I needed to brighten it up just a little bit.
And then when I put come back and I put color on top of it, it should be brightened up. Okay, so all these different colors are starting to pay off now. It's going to give me different highlights and shadows. So it's kind of how you will do a wavy, a wavy sort of hair. And so I use the shadows and the highlights. And just. So I'm just running a light water brush over it, just to solidify them a little bit. And they're still not as curly as it is in my picture. Um, very, very curly. So I don't know if I'm going to go that curly. I'm going to try a little bit.
So I'm just going to complicate it a little bit. I'm creating mini sections on top of my other sections. Hello. So I'm going to start adding some more color into the mini way. want these ears to look like darker on the top. Oh, 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 oh,
Hi, how are you? Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, this is Krill Painter 2017. Very good. What do you usually use? This is all I've used. I've taught myself how to use it since I got it for Christmas. Um, I've actually upgraded it. I got this digital art stuff for Christmas in 2015, and so I've just been teaching myself. I know I don't know how to do half of what it does. <laughs> it's an amazing program. But it's totally for painting, that like, Photoshop, yeah, see, you know, I mean, Photoshop has that word photo in the title. It's really meant for photos. Um, Painter is, was pretty easy for me to learn because I basically, I kind of, I paint like I would be painting almost, if that makes sense. Um, well, what did you have trouble with? I don't like that purple. Because you sort of just need to approach it. I could see it. I could see it being hard coming from Photoshop. Um, if you... Do you do traditional painting at all? The workflow? I... I don't get too technical with it. I mean, if you do regular painting, I kind of just paint like, yeah, I know, because it's messy. I tried sketching the other day and I was lazy. I'm like, oh, I can't undo. But um, I kind of approached it just like if I was painting for real. I don't do a lot of digital tricks. So every brush stroke is a paint stroke for me. Well, you can set it up any way you want. I just use this one and pick what colors I want. You can mix it if you want to. So what you have is you have a bunch of windows up here. Thanks. You have a bunch of windows here and you could select what windows you want up. So you have your color panels and you can have a color or you can have a mixer or you can have presets. And so I, use, I just use the color wheel under color panels. And then I usually just have my reference image, my layers, and I have the navigator. Um, recent brushes so I could go back and forth. That's pretty much. I think I started with the basic illustrator setup. I still can't get these. I still can't get these ears as curly as I want them though. So I don't think they're gonna get this curly. <laughs> they might. They might. But I sketch on here too. Yep. Yes, I have a Wacom and two O's Pro. A medium size. Love it. I'm 
and Sal use my sketch. So let's just start with the sketch and then I throw in the eyes and then I do the face and then because the ears have details I was separating the front ear from the back ear on this one just to give it um, dimension oh the Cintiqs ah yeah affording one of those would be crazy I need to I need to sell more art to afford one of those <laughs> actually it was it was I picked it up really quick it didn't um I don't know it was weird like I don't even look I don't look down you don't ever look down so you just keep your eye on what you're you're drawing and it seemed to just kind of go naturally Yeah, I don't look at the tablet at all. I just look up here and I just concentrate on, you know, and it's very small movements. So from here to here is barely moving on the tablet and you get used to that really quick. Luckily, this is just practice and not really a commission for somebody specifically because I don't think I'm going to, um, really get the ears that curly. I don't feel like doing it. Uh, I don't know. I probably will though. I'll probably come back and get all picky about it. Oh, thanks. Except in the drawing, they're super curly. Hi Miko, thanks for inviting people. So what I'm using right here, I'm using the um, Real Wet Oil Settings. And I love the oils because they feel pretty much like an oil painting to me. Um, they, and I'm using this blender brush so the colors will blend naturally. Good morning. The colors will blend as I'm painting. So I don't have to worry about blending them. Um, the colors just react to each other as long as I'm on the same layer. So. I nearly need to practice curly hair, I'm thinking, but. <laughs> I'm trying to get some highlights in here to create some more waves. Um, probably. I'm, there are there are brushes. There are brushes that do that. I just don't. Like I said, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of tricks. I just use blenders and my colors. So basically, like the demo on this one. Let me make this bigger for a second. So, I'm going to paint it down on the paint, and it's going to start soaking into the paper, and it's going to, it'll pick up texture if you use a texture paper, and this is a black, so then if I come in with white, white, so I paint that on there, and as I go away, it's going to start fading in and blending with the wet black underneath, and then... The more paint I add, hi, the more paint I add, the lighter it'll get. So it'll build up layers. Okay, great. So then if I came in with another color, it's going to blend in there too, into the white. Falls, 
so they'll naturally blend together just like I'm adding paint to wet paint and then depending on the blender this is like adding some water and I can blend those in right is not the, the way I could dry the way I treat it is um a dry layer I go to a different layer so basically I am on this this ear layer see how I made that mark all right so but I could go over here and it's not going to erase anything because this is on a different layer. So it's like this is safe. So this ear is isolated. Right. So this ear is isolated and none of the paint. The same, same thing as if I came over and I went to my face layer and I want to draw... Say I want to add a whisker, but I don't want this white whisker to blend in with my hair on my ear. I want it to stand out. So I could, oh, wrong color. We don't want blue whiskers. Come on. So I can um, bring it out and it's not going to blend with the colors underneath because it's on a layer on top. And I could also erase it without messing it up. Yes, I can. Uh-huh. Which is what I do with my sketches. Let me see the different layers. Yep. There's glazing blenders. So basically there's my sketch and I can make it super light. It's already pretty light, but there's all sorts of effects. Um, hang on. I'll show you some of my, I have like seven minutes left. So let me save this. I'm going to save it. Save, save, save. Hi, Scott. Thanks. Did you have a good birthday? Oh, no. I love the questions. Don't say you're sorry. I'm going to show you some finished work so you could, um, you could kind of see. I have different, uh, when I do my florals, I actually make some textures and stuff in there. So hang on. Alright, where is... Alright. So here's some finished pet portraits. But, you see how... I do digital texture with these. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Oh. Yeah. So I build the paint brushes. And I build it up. But it's all painted like I paint, basically, like I would paint. That's an acrylic. Yeah, there's um, inks and spatters and... Mm -hmm. That's cool. I love all the different art. This background here was um, ink splattered, like Jackson Pollock, sort of. Mm -hmm. 
So this is what I do. There's some more flower texture. I put that. Uh, see, I added all the texture on here for the glitter. Um, it depends. Probably about between 15 and 20 hours, maybe, depending on what it is. too much about time because to me um, the finished product is more important more important than the time it takes to do it and then they get printed out like this is a print when it goes to somebody. These are my puppies, so that's why I have a print of that. <laughs> well, I work for myself, so if they want their portrait done, they wait until I say it's done. <laughs> oh, these are, um, it's a linen To 60 pound river linen paper. So the paper has texture to it. Um, I have not. You can see the. It has a paint texture to it. So when it prints out. I have not printed to canvas though. I've had people who, when I do my portraits, they get an eight by 11 printed on the linen paper. I also send them the high resolution JPEG file, which is usually about um, 1200 PPI. And that's pretty much, they can take it and probably blow it up as big as they want without, without it being too disturbed. Um, so I've had a couple people make them really big on a canvas. But it's easier for them to take the file and do that themselves at a store than for me to do it and mail it to them. And I'm not worried about like the copyright stuff because it's their image. It's their, I usually do custom stuff for them. And then like, And then like with the dancers, these ones I do, um, these are famous dancers that I do just for me. But if somebody would have me do um, their prom or wedding dress or whatever, I print them out and I glitterify it up. So I paint on top of my printout. So I'll paint it, print it out, paint on top of my print, add glitter if need be. So, yeah. All right, well, my time is up, guys. So, once again, today, today, yeah, it's fun. It gives it a little dimension and something special, you know, and the costumes have bling. Um, today, I'm here for LDCC Saturday's Art Block. All day long today, if you do search in Periscope, um, LDCC, or Art Block, you will have a whole day of art. Here's our lineup today. We're going all the way to midnight. So we have a full day of great artists, different styles of art. Um, it's lots and lots of fun. And if you like art, hello, and you're interested, look us up on um, social media. Facebook is our Facebook group. It's called Little Deb's Creative Crew. Um, we'd love to have you. 
you can join us, you can get to know the artist better, you could share your art if you're an artist, maybe be on the art block one day, or just um, be inspired. And we're very supportive and we are like an art family. Um, everybody's really supportive and we'll help you out. And if you're new to um, scoping, we'd love to help you out with that as well. And once again, I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Designs. And this is where you can find me. Please find me. Please follow me. I'd love to get to know you. And I thank you for spending time with me. So let's go on over to N.P. Bradshaw, who's up next, my friend Natalyn. Um, let's see what she's doing. Yeah, thanks. Check out the art block today. You'll see a whole day of great artists. I'm going to go into um, Natalyn's scope. It's at N.P. Bradshaw, or probably easier just to go to the search function here and search hashtag LDCC, and you'll see a bunch of it. So have a great day, everybody.